Okay, you might have noticed I've not posted a video for a couple of weeks, and that's because I've been working on this. There's a guy on Energetic Forum had uh, a bit of problem soldering it up, so I said I'd hold it up for free and see how we go on, and I could learn a lot by doing so. So this was a Bedini kit with the three poles on it. Um, the guy ordered some wire, and I've rewound all the coils. We've now got a six coil machine here, <laughs> and uh, it's using 370 milliamps at the moment. Charge battery here is one that I've salvaged. It was outside in the winter weather and what have you for a couple of years, and it was on pretty much zero when it started. It's on 11.65 now. Uh, I can show the switching frequency. Um, we're on uh, 800 and 850 hertz there. Switch it back to the, the voltage. There we are. We're on 11.63 and giving it a couple of hours on this 12 volt battery here. So this features, uh, well it's quite a different way of doing things and hopefully as modular as possible to help the chap out. So we've got the three position switch. If we run it on the downward position there and we actually use about an amp. So I tend to switch it over to the area of wheat there, and the club bulb. So we're using the 370, 380 milliamps. Um, I've got connector strips at the back. All six correspond to the coils. So we go one, two, three, four, five, and six. On the left of that is a two-pin header, which goes to the trigger coil, which is the bottom one. Um, so we've got all six running there. We go to a hi-fi block there for speakers normally, and that allows batteries to be connected very easily indeed. It's, a, it's quite a good system. I quite like that. Makes it all very much easier to connect everything up. As I say, the coils can come off individually, and the rest as well if you want to be swapped out because of this arrangement at the front. And the circuit itself is held down by two screws there which also has um, little pieces of CD, a CD-ROM drive um, which means they work as like a shock absorber as well in case there are any vibrations I'm going to put it on this board here really to show if there were any vibrations because the thing will rattle away so there we are, that's what I've been working on and uh, very pleased indeed with this seems to be doing a good job Oh, just to say as well that each transistor is held in a 3-pin connection. Uh, each one was taken from the header of a PC power supply. The one that normally goes into the motherboard. And uh, they epoxied in such that uh, they're all secure. And it means that the transistors can be swapped out uh, for better ones for whatever reason. In case one blows or anything. As I say, they're all epoxied in and uh, makes for quite a good little system.